Hello again and welcome to this new video tutorial of Inventor 2018. The topic today will be explosion animations. So I've got this assembly here. If we want to produce an, an explosion animation, I will have to open a presentation file. So I'm going to click on no. So make sure your metric and if I scroll the way down, I've got startup mill IPN file the virtual presentation. So I'll click on create. Now it's looking for the model, so I'll find my assembly. Okay, so here is my assembly. So, just like I showed in the earlier video, you also have a, an animation timeline. In this case is called Storyboard. You can also minimize it by clicking here. Uh, you also have a model tree. Um, you can also use cameras and all sorts. So. If I expand my scene one, here you can see all of my different parts in my model tree. So, if I go on Tweak Components, if I now select my pin for instance, and I add it to this tweak, then I can click on this arrow, drag it, and type in a distance. So I can say, for example, Hundred mil, and you can either select between move and rotate, and I'll accept that now. And you can also enter the duration. So two point five seconds is okay. So now in my storyboard, as you can see. I can play this action. So I will now expand it, and as you can see, the action is right here. So next, I can, for instance, tweak my piston, so tweak components, and then maybe I can move it. Hundred mil up, and now I'll click on OK. So that will happen over two point five seconds. As you can see, it has added a new tweak, and now subsequently I can, for example, enter another tweak. So this time it's going to be my convert button. I can drop it down and say minus minus a hundred, maybe a bit less, maybe minus fifty. Click on OK, and then if I want, I can enter another tweak to it, and I can make it rotate simultaneously. So, I can select this axis, and then I can, I can type in the, the amount of degrees, so I can say 1000, 1020 revolutions.
It's all right, man. 1090. Shifts three breaths. So I'll click on OK. And it will now add the tweak. So as you can see here, the patch starts dropping down and then it rotates. If you want both actions to happen simultaneously, you can just expand the part in your timeline and then you will be able to visualize both actions. So the move and rotation. So if I <coughs> If I now if I now move my rotation, if I pull it away and pull it below, now both actions will happen simultaneously. So when I hit play, so this is quite useful when you have nuts and bolts and you want to explode them and you want to simulate how they are assembled or disassembled so okay so if you now go to your model tree and there are tweaks you can see your tweaks and you can edit them here if you wish you can also right click on it so I'm going to select all of them at once so I'm going to select the first one hold shift left click on the last one and now if I right click and click on hide trails, then it will hide it will hide these trails. But as you can see now the screen is clean when I press play. Okay, so the next thing to do will be camera. So if I now expand my storyboard again, and maybe I can, cut, I can add a camera here, so I'll say capture camera. Now I'll put my timeline. Maybe I'll select this camera. And then I'll click on Capture Camera again. So it has added this action. So now as you can see when I play it, the camera will shift from the first position. So now I can maybe add another camera from here. And say capture camera move forward in time maybe to be speed and capture camera again so if I now stretch it back to where it should be So, this is all you need to know really about explosion animations. It is quite straightforward, straightforward and simple to produce one. And I will now be showing you how to insert one of these explosions into a drawing. You can either click, click here and create drawing from view. However, the disadvantage of that is that it will open it in a different template. So I will save my presentation here in my documents. So now if I open up my If I open up my template, if 
If I now click on base view, as you can see, it has already selected my explosion. Now I'll click on OK. There we go. You've got your explosion view in your drawing. Um, just like I showed in the previous tutorial, you can just right click on the view, edit view. You can change the scale if you wish. You can, you can also make it shaded maybe instead of um, using a wireframe. And then all you need to do really is just uh, use your parts list and start creating balloons to identify your parts and to create your assembly drawing. So I'll leave it here. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.